Hi, today we're going to do lesson one, term two, grade three. Uh, note that this is a revision lesson um, of what we have done in term one. Um, here you will see the link then to the CAPS curriculum. Um, remember that we're going to do um, a variety of concepts in the next five lessons because we're only focusing on revision. Um, I want us then to come to the resources and the dictionary. I want you to pause at the resources um, and then check, plan and prepare for this lesson. And then what I want you to do is pause at the dictionary, go through the words. Remember, these words are for parents and for teachers for better understanding to help their children or learners at school. I want you to pause and have a look at this. Then we're going to start with the daily routine activities. So the daily routine, um, we're going to ask questions such as, whose birthday is it today? What is the date? What is the time? Describe the weather outside. Show me left, right, up, down. How many learners are absent today? So if you're in the school, you can ask how many learners are absent. Um, when you at home, maybe you, you could talk about somebody that's ill and so on. I want you to pause and then ask these questions. Then we're going to go to the counting. Now the counting we always divide into three or four parts. So the first part of the counting is where we do physical counting. So where we have bundles of 10, groups of 10. Um, at school it's much easier, but when you go home, um, you don't always have these resources and therefore you can go and visit SA Teacher eStore and you can go and download our SA Teacher Counting Library. Um, there the learners can then do counting online by using um, resources. Um, then lastly what we're going to do is we count in sequence. So we count forwards and backwards in tens. Anything between 0 and 500. Remember, if you only do this, you only do a rhyme. But if you use resources, um, concrete physical resources or representative of resources using a picture, um, children start to understand mathematics. So I want you to pause and then do the counting activity. Welcome back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the mental math activity for the day. Um, every time I'm going to give you 10 questions, you're going to ask it orally, try to solve it orally. Um, they don't even have to write the answers down on a piece of paper. Um, if they do something wrong, um, ask them, how did you get the answer? Always very important when you ask that question, because then it's easy for you to note where they made mistakes. Um, remember also it's always easier to place the bigger number first and then add the next number to that. Um, you can make use of expanded notation here as well. Um, we have 200 plus 10 plus 10 and not only 210. So you can break it up and help them to break it up in their minds. Um, I want you then to pause and then complete these activities. Welcome back. So our focus for today then is we're going to look at base 10 blocks. So these blocks again, um, if you don't have blocks at home, um, you can always contact us and we can send you the representative level blocks or you can visit our as a teacher e-store. So um, representative level blocks is not as good as the physical thing, but it's in picture format. So the most important part here is where you ask the child is if I have 10, what what happens if I take these 10 and I make one rod? Yes, so all the 10 pieces or all the blocks are then together in one rod. If I take these 10 rods um, and I put them all together, I make one block of 100. Um, so ask them questions very often important to understand place value and especially the decimal system we work in. Then the 100 board, we're going to work from 101 to 200 um, and then we're going to look at sh shapes, 2D shapes. 
So just a quick overview of the activities then. Um, the three, first three columns, again, it links to the curriculum. Then um, just to run over the activities again is we already spoke about the base 10 blocks. Um, we spoke about the number board here um, and where they're going to use, they can use number lines as well. Very important with number lines. When you draw and prepare these, you don't have to have fancy printed out ones. Um, you need to sit with your child while you're doing it. If they see how you make it, they remember it big, better. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to look at different shapes, the 2D shapes, and then we're going to sort them according to straight sides and round sides. Okay, let's look at the activities. So the activities we always have in the different levels. Uh, so the first level is always your concrete part. So we use the physical resources. And then the representative level, we use pictures or we, we make pictures or you make use of pictures and then with cards going with that. So here we just simply um, use the concrete resource and they're going to count it. And here they count it and they represent it with the flood card. Then um, we can also go to activity where we um, use words like more and less than. So first they can demonstrate it with their blocks and then what they do is they demonstrate it with their base or their flood cards and place value cards. Um, as parents, um, please invest um, in resources like this. Um, it's always so great when the children come home um, and they need to do homework that you always do this counting activity as an introductory activity. Remember at home as well, um, we need to introduce um, or do a fun thing before we st start with actual homework um, to create a love for mathematics. Um, then what we're going to do is you're going to do shapes. You can, again, you can draw them on a piece of paper. Um, and then what they can do is they can point out which shapes have round sides and which have um, straight sides. Um, most of this we can also then do on the worksheet that I'm going to show you on the next page. So here we're counting um, some base 10 blocks. Um, we don't have a number line here, but we got a number pattern that they're going to complete. You're going to write down the shape, the name of the shapes. You're going to color the shapes blue and red, straight sides blue, round sides red. If you don't have color pencils, um, you can make, for instance, when you have straight sides blue, uh, make little lines in the, in, the, in the shape. And then for the red, you can show it by making little dots. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to count the circles, squares, rectangles, and triangles and write down the number. Then um, our problem solving, we focus on what we have on term one. Um, keep an eye on the SA Teacher eStore for these problems as well and their solutions. Um, then lastly, we're going to look at the consolidation. So if your child, if you read the statements and they've got all green faces, we can go to the next lesson. If you had to have some red and orange, orange is where you supported them and red is where they couldn't do it. You need to revisit and revise certain activities and questions or you need to contact us at SA Teacher. Mm -hmm.